so hello friends uh, today we will discuss about uh, how to fix uh, ORA 12514 TNS listener does not uh, currently know of service request in connect descriptor so that's this is the issues uh, we have since long time and uh, we are trying to uh, to fix these issues and uh, uh, I will I will show you what is the issues and how it was happening okay so let's start the uh, uh, the topic and i will go to the uh, my screens uh, so here you go and uh, <coughs> if i open the pl sql developer you can you can see that uh, uh, we are getting issues uh, as soon as i will i will i will put the password uh, you can you can see the what the issues I am getting here. Uh, that issues is related to uh, TNS. So that issue is re is related to TNS error. And uh, if you go to the the further mode, you can you can see that uh, the issues is very complex. And uh, uh, if uh, this kind of issues will happen, then uh, of course the database will not. Uh, able to connect so fix need to be uh, done via reconfigured listener of database via database configuration tool that is called a oracle net configuration assistant tool so you can find it from uh, that tool you can find it from uh, database i mean uh, oracle website or you can go to the your program folder and oracle directory you can find this tool so what to do uh, you can you can easily you can able to uh, see that uh, how to how to connect uh, so let's start i mean uh, this is the just i mean let's start how to how to uh, launch the this this tool so here you have to uh, select reconfigure the listener and uh, you have to watch the screens how the things are happening okay and uh, here uh, you have to select uh, the port number uh, so you have to read out what is your port and how how does it uh, asking to uh, reconfigure because its tool is very a smart tool and uh, it will uh, it will automatically it will read the oracle directory and uh, port and all these configuration files and it will give you the such kind of information so you just uh, uh, check this i mean how i am doing that and uh, these are the database i mean the prod and pwr is the database as uh, i am working here as a uh, container database so we have a two uh, database one is the plugin and another is a container database so at this point it is asking to test it so no need to test it because uh, the we just uh, we are uh, we are doing the reconfiguration of uh, listener uh, so no need to uh, recon i mean test the database connection here uh, finally uh, what we need to do uh, i mean this is a prod database this uh, last uh, we no need to do that uh, the configuration uh, at at this point of time we will go and we will start the uh, service oracle service so you have to go to the control panel and uh, go to the services and uh, administrative tool and services uh, 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 look uh, i mean uh, whenever the configuration uh, i mean the during the configuration you you have to set up the listener as a local host okay and your port is 1521 so that uh, that uh, uh, that is the actual configuration in my computer but in in case of your computer that that would be different uh, it depends on your uh, i mean the production environment if there is any company and you are doing the production support or the you are the dba you you may have a different uh, port number and you may have the different uh, server name so uh, these are the I mean the uh, at at this my computer. Uh, this is the local uh, local comp local host and uh, port number is one five two one. So now uh, now let's uh, start the Oracle service. Go to the screen and see how I did it. Uh, so.
so I will go to the control panel and I will relaunch these services <laughs> so where we need to find the uh, Oracle services I am going to take a next screen so uh, maybe I will put it into the uh, for blog post so these are the Oracle services you you need to uh, restart uh, each of these services so you can see uh, I am going to list uh, I mean the whatever the things are there it's I'm just manually I am doing that and all these uh, Oracle services I will restart it once the things will uh, Sometimes uh, some directory is not visible. I mean, the it's not manually automatically restarted. So you have to go to the uh, the properties and you have to select uh, the same things. Okay. So I think uh, it's it, it has been already uh, done. So now uh, let's uh, uh, now we will start the Oracle PL SQL tool uh, to see the database is connecting or not. So let's go to the tool and uh, okay, uh, let's keep the password here. It's it's very slow because it's recording the screens. So I will hit enter and see. I mean, it's asking to your password will expire in the next seven days. Okay, so I think uh, the database is connecting now. Uh, look at here. Uh, Yeah. So you can see that uh, the HR as the rate of prod, prod as, as I said, prod is our database. So it, it has been connected now. And uh, if I try to, uh, uh, if I try to uh, launch some SQL environment, let's see that uh, what is happening here. Okay. <coughs> So let's go to the some SQL windows and uh, let's select uh, star from V dollar instance. So basically, we are going to find that what is the in instance we can able to see that. So actually, this uh, this table we don't have access. I think so. <coughs> Let me type. Uh, it seems to be the the type of mistakes. Okay, so uh, I think uh, the HR does not have access for this uh, table, V dollar instance table. So let's go to some other. Uh, 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 I mean the whole table. Uh, that is the select a star from cat. Uh, so you can see the result. So uh, I, I can I can get a result uh, from uh, database. So I can say that the 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 procedure is working currently and uh, it could be able to connect the database thanks a lot